the lock screen is kind of a simple lock screen that you can totally personalize, etc. like that. It has obviously the, the information, etc. Like if you were playing with music, you could also control the music on the lock screen, etc. like that. So simple track kind of forwards, etc. Is it like a wheel interface that? Is it the... uh, no, so that's a kind of, so the, the premise was that actually the, the home screens kind of roll round. So that's kind of, uh, we didn't really take no, kind of mic, because the whole in this, the home screen experience behind is actually kind of like seven screens. So you kind of, you're oh, right, rotating right. around. So yeah. that's why everything is beveled like that. So that you're like that screen there, you're literally kind of uh, looking around the, uh, the home just screen as experience. If, yeah. yeah, so it's like kind of cool. Yeah, so yeah. round. So, so this is kind of the experience. You can personalise the home screen to kind of, sorry, the, the HTC Sense, so to how you would like to kind of uh, on the device. So I haven't put a clock I do want to clock in there, so if I just kind of choose my HTC widget, um, that we can choose Android widgets from the marketplace, so you don't need to kind of rely on HTC widgets. There are obviously ones for your charge and chargeable widgets, or you can choose the ones that we've put into the device. So, uh, so if the clock, you can obviously pick multiple different kind of types of the clock, the one that suits you best. I'm a traveller, I like to kind of have my home city and thing. So I just select that one and it will go in. If I don't like it in, in that situation, I can pull it to a, to another panel. So Where did it pull that? You promised that the local GSM? So yes, yeah, so it uses the GSM, because actually oh, Google awesome. has uh, has kind of the information. So when you land, so like Google Maps can obviously pinpoint you in the cell towers, nice. etc. So yeah. it pulls the local. So that, for example, if I just scroll to the weather widget, so in the weather widget, it has your current information. So it actually picks kind of uh, Ealing, Hounslow. Actually, picks the area in London, not just London that you have. Demo that's what Ealing. has annoyed me with some weather widgets. Yeah. Is if I'm in, I don't know, Litchfield so, or something, I can't pick my local town. I have to yeah. exactly. So like yeah, it's, it's chosen typical as uh, so it, it knows the location of, that you are at and, and it tries to kind of work the weather out and give you the attack. If it's not the right one, you can actually go into Google Maps and put the pin on exactly where you want the weather for. <laughs> so we partner with AccuWeather to make sure that it is uh, totally uh, available. So, but these widgets are not just kind of icons. They're actually able to, to work go in. We're working so the Twitter. You no need to actually go into Twitter. You can kind of read all the Twitter comments and actually kind of reply and comment on Twitter straight away from the home screen. So zero click access to kind of the information that you want. Now the keyboard, I think Ari said, uh, one of the other guys said the keyboard had been really... Yeah, so what if I would do is if I go to the here to the messaging client, so if I go to text message and go in, show the different styles of keyboard. So this is the phone keypad. The one